lights, camera, traction. actually getting out on the front line no matter what you're selling whether you're whether it's a business to business or whether it's a business to consumer so like actually being out there uh, I was on ride-alongs I was in the emergency departments and being able to see everything firsthand like I, I remember the hospital shift I, I sat quiet for the first couple hours and just took notes and watched and then after a couple hours like I started to ask questions and those questions had new insight and new meaning because I was watching it happen. And towards the end, that's when I would start saying, well, like, what if this system and this system could talk? And it was like mind blowing the reaction I was getting from people. And I don't think I would have learned nearly as much if you would have just given me a list of bullet points and said, here's my typical shift. Being there, smelling the smell, seeing the sights, it, it, it meant something new and special to me. And I, I think every entrepreneur should be trying to figure out like, how do they put themselves in the same spot that we did learning from people like you? Well, and even, even if you approach, you know, clients or users uh, and ask them to tell you something, you know, send out a survey, let's say there, there will be a certain amount of bias that comes through it. And it's, it, Asking someone to talk about their experience is a totally different thing than seeing them experience it. Yeah. Right. So the, the when when you came out to see what we did and went to the hospitals and see how they worked, there was so much other stuff that maybe we're not even aware of in the moment because we're just so wrapped up in what we're doing that if you you'd never get a description of it. You'd never get an insight into it if you just asked. You'd have to actually come down and see it for yourself. You know, and that's, that's a, a, big, a big advantage of, of what you were doing there was to, you know, see the real world, 